All right, we talked about the tide strength. We talked about the tide height. Now we're gonna talk about how wind affects the tide graph. Well, this is what it would look like if we didn't have any wind. This, this graph, if this wavy line would remain accurate, but with wind factored in, it changes things. So if the wind was out of the west, since I'm fishing the west coast of Florida, this high would be higher and this low would be higher. If it's an east wind, or in this case tomorrow, a northeast wind, this high is gonna be lower and this low is gonna be lower. So you have to take that in consideration knowing that the curve is gonna be underneath this really a little bit. It's gonna drop it a little bit more because where the places that you wanna fish, there may not be enough water or worse yet, it may pull the fish further off those zones. So remember, understand your fishery. Know that the wind can either slow the tide down and not let it make it to its full potential on the flood, or it could blow the water further out, or vice versa. So you have to understand that wind ultimately affects this line. The stronger the wind, the more it affects it. The, the less wind you have, the closer you are to calm water, the line will remain the same. And that is what I'm talking about when I say wind considerations.